So this is one goofy looking kid doing goofy looking stuff. It's Ronnie's niece, isn't that right? Except this kid looks just like Ronnie Horn when Ronnie Horn was a kid. It's that freaky genetic inevitability moment. I mean, and you can see in the catalog and even downstairs those pictures, AKA Ronnie Horn, like this kid looks like Ronnie Horn. And so it's kind of interesting and bizarre that Ronnie Horn was given in her family a doppelganger, given something that is similar and different, which is like this major concern of her artistic career. And then she gets to live it out with her own uh, niece. And if, you know, for those of you who have aunts uh, or uncles or have nieces and nephews, you know it's a very special relationship that you can have because basically um, you get to undermine your sibling um, and your sibling is of course the person who is the most like you and the most different from you of any human being on the planet. So again, that kind of um, sense of play around same and different is really important. And in this work, I think probably more so than any other work by Ronnie, is playful, right? There's a sense of which here she kind of gives it up and um, uh, is, lets the kid be playful, she's playful. Um, and I also, I find this a great Warhol kind of moment, you know, where she takes these, what could be really just goofy snapshots and gives them the presentation of art, you know, so we look at them in this way that we might not look at them otherwise, which is I think another, really interesting thing in Ronnie's work, she's always trying to get you to look at something that you're used to overlooking, right? Like goofy snapshots of someone else's kid, right? She's actually saying, yeah, 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 I know you've seen them before, but like, look at them again, right? Slow down, look, look again. 